Welcome everyone to another Star Wars Old Republic video and patch 5.6 is upon us. I hope you guys are enjoying the new Flashpoint and some of the new changes to Galactic Command. Uh, we do have a new cartel pack, the Spoils of War cartel pack, and I'll be opening up one today. There were some very interesting changes that I checked out, and actually, you know, we can check them out in collections. But firstly, before I talk about them, some of the most notable changes being things like uh, there's a there are two weapon sets in this cartel pack. One of them is actually gold. I have some opinions about that, but I think one of the most shocking changes was the best cat which is the Mandalorian Blade, which actually looks really, really nice. They decided to make that silver rarity, so it's going to be relatively accessible to everyone. I was like 100% sure that was going to be the new platinum item. Instead, they made the other weapon set silver, the Scorpio ones or Scorpion ones, and then they made, um, they actually have a lot of platinum items in this pack. So it's actually really insane. But uh, before we talk about that in depth, let's take a look at the pack opening, see what we get out of this one. Now, my, my computer has been shutting down randomly. I think the fan needs an upgrade. It's been so bad to the point where I actually can't even finish the Copro Flashpoint. It keeps shutting down. I'm really hoping that this is not going to shut down as I open this cartel pack because that would be terrible. I'd have to merge footages and stuff. But anyways, enough of that. I know you guys are excited to see uh, exactly what the RNG is like, especially with a cartel pack that has so many gold items. Uh, and I'll talk about that later. All right, first pack. All right, so there's a cool and security. That's actually silver. I thought that was going to be a gold armor set as well. Very, very nice. The upper body armor looks amazing. I'm going to kind of ignore the other crap that comes out of here, like the mood and the, the heavy blaster. Uh, those, are, those are usually going to be crap. But if I get something nice, I'll point it out. And we got our first gold uh, piece, and this is the Revered Master's lower body armor. Uh, not quite the upper. The upper is the one you're going to want to really get. I can see that selling insanely high on the GTN just because of its popularity. But the lower is still good. I'm sure that's going to sell for a lot because the pants are pretty nice and everyone's going to want to complete their set. All right, we've got some really nice decorations here. The decos out of this pack are pretty nice. Uh, Copro itself is a beautiful planet with some really nice uh, decorations in the Flashpoint, so I'm hoping they can transfer some of those here. This one's a nice drop, the Revenite Avengers armor set. That's actually that's a, a really old item, so that's not from the new cartel pack. The new item we got is the uh, crystal, and there's actually two crystals which I'm not happy about. They, 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 they just put so much junk in this cartel pack. Uh, the crystals are nice and all, but you know you can pick them up off the GTN for like 100k, so... But the Revenite Avenger, that was a nice drop. All right, we'll check out some of these decorations at the end, so no need to talk about them here. Ugh, we got two new dies. I I'm not so sure about them. I already saw their previews. Um, yeah, they're, they're not the nicest dies. At one point, dies just all start looking the same to me. And then, of course, we have two new emotes that were data mined as well. Uh, they're, they're decent emotes, but... Um... More crap. Ugh. That's the problem. They put so much crap in here. Ah, here's an awesome drop. We got the uh, Revered Master Supplementary Body Armor, so we're just missing that upper. But um, I think I'm getting lucky with these. With so many gold items in a cartel pack, I'm getting lucky uh, that I'm getting the, the good gold item, which is the Revered Master's Armor set. Even though it's supplementary, doesn't really have a helmet, uh, it's not going to be the, um, the, you know, the highest selling piece. It's still going to be decent, though. I mean, I'd rather get any gold piece aside from those weapons. Those weapons, I have some opinions about those. There's a cool and security upper body armor, as I mentioned earlier. Very, very nice upper body armor piece. Now, here's one of the gold weapons we were talking about, the Scorpion TK Assault Cannon. Come on, Bioware, why is this gold? I mean, I know someone commented on my other video saying he, that the, the Commandos in general might really like this design because it's thin, it's not big and bulky like a lot of the other designs, but it's so silver. I mean, come on. It, it, it looks... For, to me, it just looks like the other silver assault uh, cannons we've gotten. So I'm not sure why that's gold, honestly. Just more crap. Oh, there is another uh, drop, the Tactical Infantry Armor set. So, so far we've had two pretty nice drops from those other side things. We have the Revenant Avenger and the Tactical Infantry. So uh, getting pretty lucky with those ones. Those are both very high value armor sets, even though they're not gold. But the uh, actual new item we got is the Planter Exotic Resort Flower. So um, we'll check out what that looks like. Oh, another gold. 
the Repair Droid Weapon Tuning, and the Dashing Heroes Armor Set. Nice, we have another really nice armor set drop from this. But the Repair Droid Weapon Tuning, uh, I checked it out, it actually works on both lightsabers and guns. So that's really interesting. It, it does look a little bit weird on lightsabers and stuff. It's probably not going to be the most popular weapon tuning, but it is a weapon tuning nonetheless and a very nice job from this cartel pack. Ah, here's the other crystal we get from this, the teal black. Uh, not a big fan of these colors. I mentioned it in the other video too when we were looking at the uh, data mine information. Just not a fan. Um, I'm really hoping for cooler colors. Black and white stuff often is very popular and looks very nice. The Mentellian Frontline, ah, this is the other silver weapon set. So the, this this pack is just jam-packed with stuff. I mean, honestly, there's so many items. They have two whole weapon series, which is just insane. And then not just having one crystal, they have two crystals, so it's kind of crazy. We have another gold item, the Planeto Planetary Hollow Map of Kopuro. Now this one, I was looking at the image online. It looks like a very nice decoration, so I'm excited to try out try out that one and see what it looks like. The other stuff's pretty nice too. We have the ceremonial guard armor set and then the other um, Jedi Council table. Oh wow, another repair droid weapon. We are getting really lucky with gold items here. I think that might be a side effect of the fact that there are so many gold items in this pack. So I think, you know, more gold items, more chance of getting a gold item. I'm not sure if that's the way it works, but it looks like it. Because here's another gold item, another planetary hollow map of Koper. I'm glad it's the nice gold decoration. There's another one I'm not too fond of. I think it's the um, the, the big tank, the Republic tank. But um, I like this planetary hollow map. Uh, here's the other die, the Honorable General. Yeah, they both are kind of this like grayish, really monotone color. Not too fond of that, honestly. Um, it just gives me a headache, actually, if I use it on one of my characters. Oh, a double gold. This is insane. Uh, the Scorpion TK lightsaber. I, I wish it was cooler, honestly. It looked so cool in the image, but I've checked it out in collections. It's not the best. That's the other gold decoration I was talking about, the Republic ATV. Still a nice one, but not as nice as the uh, planetary map. Yeah, so here we go. We got, we got some of the gold. Is this the last cartel pack? Oh wow, this is the last cartel pack. I got really lucky with gold items. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take some items out of the item stash and I'll jump back and see you guys later. All right, everyone, so we are back. I have placed all the decorations down, so we'll check that out right now. This one is the planetary hollow map. As I mentioned earlier, it looks amazing. It actually doesn't show automatically. You actually have to click the console for it, for it to show, but just look at those animations. It's like um, one of the hollow maps we have right now, but on steroids, it's got all these really cool flashing uh, or not flashing, really cool rotating elements. And then what I really love is that little target symbol that's on there. Uh, it's just really cool. Something definitely you would probably be, be using at your Alliance headquarters. And then here's one of the planet, uh, the Copero bushes. Uh, very nice looking plant. Definitely something you'd see just lying around in the flashpoint. And one thing you'll notice about all these Copero decorations is they look very elegant. Something like royalty would have, which is really cool because it's a design that we don't normally see. Uh, this is also the bench. Once again, it's got that elegant design. It always looks Zakulin to me, honestly. This is something I would think you'd see on Zakul, but it is indeed a Kopuro thing. Uh, so this is also a very nice um, banner here. We have like those, that double planet and stuff, so really nice. I'm going to pick up these decorations as I run along. And I guess also uh, the Republic ATV is a starship hook, so I'll show that at the end. But I'll just quickly talk about this cartel pack because there's some opinions I have on it. As you guys saw, I got a ton of gold items. And that might be because this pack has way more gold items than a normal cartel pack. Because we have a whole new weapon series, that right there is like six new gold items. We have two gold armor sets. We have um, two gold mounts like that is an insane number of gold items another problem though is you know they also threw in a ton of silver items uh, a ton of crap that really isn't the nicest thing in the world in terms of platinum items we actually have three platinum items we have the hollow rancor the not heavy cannon the not heavy sniper rifle and guys i was kind of excited for these weapons but not after seeing them i mean the effect is cool okay that little blue holograph thing is cool but the base design of the weapon is horrendous to me i i cannot get over how ugly that looks i mean it, it, it looks like a big box it looks like something that was made out of a cardboard box uh, like something a kid would make for a science project or something it just looks utterly terrible in my opinion and the fact that it's you know only a sniper and only a heavy cannon i know that it's going to drop so low on the gtn so whatever i'm not a fan of those the hollow ranker is obviously cool the enigmatic operative i thought this was going to be a silver armor set they decided to make it gold not 
sure why it's not the nicest this is a cool and security is a very nice one but keep in mind that it's silver which means you will probably be able to find a really nice deal on the gtn for it the unyielding tracker is also silver but it's not the nicest then we have two silvers which means eight items just of junk we have two emotes which is kind of more junk um, we have the Vicious Draw Cog. I'm sure this is going to be a mount that drops pretty low. Probably not right at the start, but these are the types of mounts that will drop to like 1 million credits. The Banshee and the Deus were silver mounts. Um, and then here we go. We got like the Scorpion Weapon Series, which is gold. I'm not sure why, guys. I cannot pin my mind on it. Uh, this is just, honestly, like these weapons are just look like the normal silver weapons you'd get. What I do think is really nice are the Vibra Swords. So I can see why maybe these might be gold rarity. They're very nice. They have a unique design. We don't have many of these in the game. But the other ones kind of, I don't, I don't get why the guns are gold and stuff. This is one of my favorites. It's this little short blade. And what I really like about it is when you stow it away, and I'll show it on the best card here, which is silver, which is crazy. But uh, like this is a beautiful looking blade, guys. Check that out. I, I love how that looks. And when you stow it away, it actually goes to your side. So it doesn't go on your back. It sucks that I can't show it on the Sith Recluse here. It keeps clipping with the butt cape, but it just is an awesome weapon. So, But once again, guys, the nice stuff out of here is silver, and the silver stuff is going to drop low on the GTN. So really, there's no need to buy this cartel pack. You'll be able to get all the good stuff off of the GTN, which is the main point I kind of want to get across. Um, so that's kind of my thoughts about the cartel pack. I might have just gotten super lucky with all those gold items. And to be honest, I probably did. I have talked with a few other people who have said they did not get anywhere near the luck I got with this when they were opening their own cartel packs. So um, that is unfortunate. Maybe it was just me getting lucky here. In any case, this is the Republic ATV decoration. Uh, unfortunately, you can't go, I can't go in it on this Empire and Stronghold, but I do believe that, that there's a ramp at the back then you can actually enter the Republic ATV. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and enjoyed the pack opening. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, and I will see you guys in the next one.